So in uh, February of 2019, we got the diagnosis that my mom had breast cancer. I started to see signs that this wasn't beatable. As a curious person, I've always had the most profound curiosity about everything, even faith and knowing that the word faith is believing in what you can't see and just having steadfast belief in something that is. Towards the end of my mom's life, we flew down to Florida and spent six days prior to her passing. And one of my big things is I asked my mom to show me that heaven was real. About an hour before she passed, I grabbed her hand and said, Mom, show me it's real. No better person than you. She squeezed my hand. I had accepted the fact that she was going there. As she passed away, I knew that in the coming weeks that something was going to happen. There was a very profound moment the day before my little sister's wedding. Blake and Macy chose to get baptized in the Gulf of Mexico. As we walked up on the beach, I was kind of struggling that morning. So I walked off on my own, got in the water about up to my knees and looked up and said, Mama, show me something cool. Show me that it's real, show me that you're here. Two seconds after I looked down, a dolphin jumps out of the water, does a full front flip, and about 15 or 20 dolphins start just playing right out in front of me. And I look over at my sisters and say, Mom's here. Dolphins proceeded to sit behind Macy and Blake as they got baptized for the entire time. It's profound because the dolphin ties with my mom's life in so many ways. It brought a lot of peace to our family. She still showed her presence in that way. It is real and it is powerful. It's pretty hard to deny. It's from a higher power. As we walked off the beach that morning, I looked back and there was the dolphins just leaving. My mom and Jesus were with us that morning. No one 
can prepare you to lose your mom 15 days before you're supposed to walk down the aisle. But the one thing that got me through and the only reason that I was able to walk down the aisle was because it was her greatest wish that Blake and I got married on March 21st in Seaside. I think throughout my whole entire season of engagement, I was just optimistic and held on to hope that my mom would be there. The family has asked that I would read a letter from the father of the bride, Kevin Dunnigan. And the letter begins like this. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the coming together and marriage of two incredible young people in Macy and Blake. As most of you are aware, Sharon, my beautiful, loving wife of almost 34 years and the amazing mother of our incredible children, passed away and went to heaven just two weeks ago. It's been an emotional time and a challenging time for all of us. Nothing like I have ever imagined. I was told once that the amount of tears that you will cry is equal to the love that you shared, so there's many more tears that are left. The other truth is that today is a celebration and a very happy and special occasion, and I want to remind everyone of that. It's an amazingly happy day. We're here today to celebrate the marriage and the unity of Macy and Blake, and Sharon is with us all the way in that. Sharon helped to plan the venue. She helped to pick out the flowers and the decor. And she helped Macy pick out this beautiful dress. Macy, you walk in a radiance that's all your own. You're a masterpiece of fierce strength, compassionate love, and tender joy. And you stand today with the richest inheritance. Because we both know a woman who walked in her calling as a wife. Today, I know that once wavering girls can become unshaken women. I know that once broken hearts can collide headfirst into the reality of their dreams, their royalty, and their worth. And I know that little girls who play dress up in white dresses can someday grow up and display to us all what it means to be truly bridal. And you've chosen a man who knows the same way. A rare man to walk in the nobility of the pursuit of the one. You have the eyes of Jesus to be set only on your love and no lesser thing or distraction. Your devotion is quiet but fierce and faithful. You're a good and honorable husband. When I got married 34 years ago and we had our own family priest, but he gave me some rules, and they meant nothing at the time. And as the years have gone on, they've meant so much to me, because every year I've been married, it makes more sense. Three, two, one. Number one, reveal yourselves. Number two, take time for each other. Number three, just do loving things. It's so pretty. This is the hard part. Your mama. This is her top two things. Pray for and with each other. Every day. Our kids saw me having coffee with their mom every morning. Every day.
good marriage is two servants in love. Three strands are not easily broken. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You look incredible. <laughs> you look so incredible. Wow. We got this, baby. I know. We got this. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's like our favorite picture. I know. She's with you like you have no idea she's with you. And we're the dolphins. She's right here. She's actually holding my hand right now. I all know. day today. We've always been a family of six, and we love that. So all my sweet mama is celebrating from heaven tonight with the best seat in the house by his grace his love and his sovereignty. He's made us six here on earth again today. I, mean. I just thank you for Mace. <laughs> I thank you for the woman that she is and the woman that she'll become. I thank you for the privilege of loving your son. Macy Francis, I believe God put you in my life when I needed you the most. I felt an overwhelming sense that I was home, a comfort and peace that had been non-existent. That was the moment that I knew I wanted to do life with you. When I'm with you, I feel like I can take on the world. I'm reminded of God's blessings and His favor. I forever want to be the same thing to you that you are to me, home. Our story hasn't been perfect, but I get it now. And every single tear-filled night, wondering if we could make it to this very altar one day, has strengthened us beyond our own comprehension. I remember being a little girl and praying to God, asking Him to let me have a love like my parents have. And now I stand here today and knowing that I am worthy of this kind of love We're better together. Sharon, thank you for raising a daughter like Mace. Thank you for raising her to know Jesus and to know her true worth. Thank you for displaying what love is meant to look like. I see these things in Mace every single day. She loves unconditionally and fiercely. She fights for my best no matter what and never lets a day go by without letting me know how much she loves me. I now pronounce them Husband and wife, Blake, you may kiss your bride. Saying yes to forever today is no small proclamation, but I cannot be more sure or more excited about it. And all I could have ever asked for in a husband and the father to our future children is someone who loves Jesus more than he loves me. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Blake Jimerson. I will never be able to put into words how grateful I am that you got to know my hero and my best friend. My mom has always been so proud of the man that you are. And I know that she is looking down at you right now standing before me and smiling more than ever.
fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I vow to be faithful to you and only you, to cover you in prayer. For I am thy God. I vow to pray with you and for you forever. I vow to hold your heart with patience, gentleness, and loyalty. Yeah, I will help thee. I vow to surrender myself daily to the Lord. And I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. I vow to lead you to the feet of Jesus every single day. I give you my whole entire heart, Blake Edward Jimerson, today and every day. And I will love all you with the right hand. I love you more than anything besides Jesus. I love you more than anything besides Jesus. <laughs>